Muy buenas tardes, estamos una vez más en nuestros cafés Yugo. Esta es una nueva presentación de los cafés que estamos teniendo con personas muy importantes, personas que realmente están cambiando el mundo. Contamos con el doctor Mohamed y vamos a tener una serie de preguntas súper interesantes. Nos da muchísimo gusto estar contigo, poder platicar un momento. Y a continuación, esperamos que puedas responder nuestras preguntas con total sinceridad y que todo lo que podamos platicar sea de beneficio para ti, para la marca, para nuestro país, porque queremos escucharte. Estamos muy emocionados de poder escucharte. Well, I think 5G will impact, uh, will impact everything, will impact the life of the people. It will impact uh, uh, how uh, people even at home, you know, use broadband and it will even impact industries and impact uh, enterprise business productivity. But at the end of the day, what's more important about 5G is that it will impact the whole country economy and it will change the overall leadership map globally by having by elevating the country economy and the ICT leadership position. Well, first of all, I don't think it's necessarily true what you mentioned. Uh, as we know, 5G, there are different bands for 5G. There are low band, mid band, and high band. So for the high band, that's the what we call millimeter wave. Well, maybe that will require small set. But what we have seen globally in our uh, deployment all over the world is that the mid band, which is around 3.5 gigahertz, that's the mainstream for 5G deployment. And as a matter of fact, in Huawei, our solution, when we adopt it in C band, it does not require any new base stations. You can add 5G on the same grid that the country or the operator has for 4G, and you will get the same coverage, but actually you will get it also with even higher speed and better experience. Well, you know, of course, when you have 5G, the usage of the data will be enhanced. And if one cell site is using 5G, the, the volume of the traffic will be more. So, so you need to carry the traffic by fiber connectivity from the site. So if you want to add 5G to an existing 4G uh, base stations, I believe you will have to have better transport in order to carry this kind of traffic uh, to the back home. Well, that's actually a good question. Uh, the fact that Internet of Things will generate traffic, yes, it will generate traffic. But I don't think that is the killer attribute of the IoT. Because the IoT, the, the only thing about it is that it's too, it's too many connections. The number of connections is going to be that much. But the connectivity size is not the key here. The key for IoT is how to build a digital platform that can allow different verticals to come in and put apps on top of that, and how to operate and how to control it and how to manage it. So those are the things that, that the IoT will contribute in the 5G era and even in the 4G era. Well, security concerns in general, that's not a new thing. And Huawei, we have been implementing a lot of security solutions in our product even before 5G. But when we talk about 5G, you will see that uh, 5G actually, as a matter of fact, based on the standard, it is much more secure than the generation before. But why everyone is talking about the security issues for 5G now? I think the reason is 5G will come up with different applications, that's number one, that will touch a lot of aspects of the people life. And number two, it has different new technology and it has different mm. sc wide scope of of devices, so that's why I, I, I believe it's a valid concern that there will be that, that the bad guys will find new ways to come to the network. But 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 we have standard. First of all, it's a continuation of the security solution from 4G to 5G. Number two, we have 3GPP standards that has very security uh, 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 standards for for 5G. Number three. We have to focus on technology and the innovation and the investment in order to solve that. Last but not least, in order to mitigate uh, the risk factors of security, 
we have to talk about collaboration. We have to talk about how the policy and regulation will put the framework that is verified and based on facts that can be imposed on everybody, no matter vendors or uh, suppliers or actually different industries. So everyone has to come on a table and to come up with that security framework that will be imposed upon every vendor, every uh, uh, every stakeholder, no matter what the vendor from, from which country. So that's how we can ensure that our business is secure. Well, as I said, everyone will benefit from uh, from 5G. And, and as a matter of fact, for 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 we're entering a new decade right 2020 i think in that new decade each government should look at their ict leadership uh, goal and to put that ict leadership goal is like an equation ict leadership goal is a function of so many things and the country need to look at those so many things no matter whether it's a spectrum uh, no matter whether it's a taxation subsidy uh, extending fiber uh, mbn policy all of those are variables in that will lead to the ICT leadership position. So this is how the country will benefit uh, from uh, 5G and from other technology by having, by deploying them as quickly as it can, and also by choosing the application and the industries and the areas that will benefit the people the most. So this is how the government should think about the attractive decade that we have that's marked by innovation in different technology. Perfect. Thank you very much.